Valentine's Day is tomorrow, and while some may be celebrating love, doctors raising awareness about broken heart syndrome. And this morning's Family Focus, Dr. Teresa Water joins us to talk about this impact on your overall health. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Dr. Water. And what I found very interesting from reading up on this is broken heart syndrome is an actual medical condition. Yes, it is. <laughs> wow, and it I, and sounds I, weird. It sounds weird, but it's true. And it's not just caused from failed relationships either. This is true. Um, it's often called broken heart syndrome because this is something that's a rapid weakening of the heart muscle that's due to a stress. And usually those stressors can be either physical or emotional, like the loss of a loved one or a broken relationship. That's why it's been dubbed or termed the broken heart syndrome. Yeah, because I know we've done some stories in the past where, you know, if someone has died and then, you know, we always hear about someone maybe a week or so later uh, passing away after losing, you know, a spouse or something. But what are the signs and symptoms of the broken heart syndrome? They're very similar to what one would have if they feel they were having a heart attack. They'd have chest pain, shortness of breath, dizziness, and even sweating. So firstly, if you were to have any of those symptoms, we always recommend you call 911 and reach out to an emergency care person. And is there anything specifically uh, to treat broken heart syndrome? Well, it all depends on your symptoms because most of the time, this is something that is treated by a cardiologist. So if you feel you're having any symptoms, by all meaning call your primary care, or if you have a heart specialist, call your cardiologist to share with them symptoms you're having. And the standard of care is just standard medical things that can help reduce the stresses that are put on the heart. But other types of care include things such as certain rehabilitative um, therapies, exercise programs, and of course, avoiding stress, which is always easier said than done. Right. <laughs> but we would also recommend stress reducers such as things like meditation or routine yoga exercises. Well, is there any particular group that's more prone to experience broken heart syndrome than others? Yes, there is. It is my group. <laughs> it's most commonly found in postmenopausal women. And uh, especially beyond the age of 55, your risk for this stress cardiomyopathy does increase. Oh, wow. It does increase. So, and I know you mentioned, you know, I guess postmenopausal women, but what about younger, a younger person, I guess 25 or even 30 years old, can they experience broken heart syndrome? They can. Men can, as well as young adults, you know, as in, and women that are premenopausal, they can. It's just that the most common is in postmenopausal women, but anyone that has a major physical trauma or emotional trauma, such as maybe seizures, high fever, uh, a stroke, you know, as we mentioned earlier, loss of a loved one or some severe grief, or even just something that surprises a person or shocks them really easily can induce this type of cardiomyopathy. So of course you, I know this morning you were in Lafayette and they move you all around the state of Louisiana. If anyone is interested in, I guess, contacting you or just have any other questions about their health, where can you be reached? Well, we have a website. Uh, it's called SeniorFocusLouisiana.com. Again, that's SeniorFocusLouisiana.com is the best website to reach out in regards to finding more about this, as well as finding more about Central Health Senior Primary Care. 